Hello, Neverland kids. Welcome to another craft time with Pastor Maddie. I am so excited to be here with you guys. It has been an awesome month so far. We are working through the month of September. Our theme is ice cream sundae. Woo! As you can see, my lovely door behind me is growing with all of the fun things for the month. I'm super excited. Um, we are in week three, so we have been studying the life of Joseph. We started off with um, him receiving a coat of beautiful, beautiful colors and where he kept having dreams that he was going to be in charge and that he was going to rule over his brothers and of course his brothers did not like that whatsoever so what did they do they beat him up and they sold him into slavery because apparently that's just what they did i just think that's crazy and absolutely whack whacked but the whole point is that god has a plan for me so even when joseph was being sold into slavery he kept going god you still love me and you have a plan for my life and last week we talked about how Joseph, then he got to Egypt, he was sold to a really nice man who um, thought very highly of him, but his wife was not nice and she lied about Joseph. And the man then believed his wife and so they threw Joseph in jail. And that's where he stayed for many, many years. And so Joseph, Joseph kept thinking, God, I, I, I know you've got a plan for me, but man, it's, it's looking a little crazy right now. And so we want to constantly be reminded that, you know what, even when life gets really crazy, when we feel like we can't go on anymore, like Joseph in that jail cell, we continue to know that God has a plan for me. Good job. So today we're going to need week three worth of stuff. So you guys need to grab your yellow sheet. Um, so things that you're going to need, you're going to need this piece of paper. It's got some cows and a base on it. You guys will also need your little baggie with dun, 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 little balls, little fluff balls. I mind them now dropping everywhere. Ah, got it. Okay, so you guys are going to need that. You guys are going to need some glue. Oh, also in your thing is a uh, piece of hay, um, which will be very important in a moment. And then um, glue, as always, and then um, markers or colored pencils or crayons if you have crayons. Um, whatever you have, those are the things that we're going to need. So I will give you a moment to quickly go and grab them and then we will dive on into things. Ready? And go! Awesome job grabbing all those things. So now that we have all of our supplies, um, let us, we're going to count all of these cows, okay? So, I hope you guys can see it. So, there is, ready, count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven! Good job! There are seven cows, and then you should have at least seven little, um, of these little doodads, the little pom-pom balls. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that. That looks probably better. Dun, 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 dun. So, what we are going to be talking about. So, Joseph. We're going to continue our story. Joseph, like we talked about on Sunday, was in jail for quite a while. And while he was there, he met a man who worked for the Pharaoh. And, he, well, he actually met two men. He met a baker and a cupbearer. And the cupbearer served in the Pharaoh's house. And both of them had a dream. And they said, hey, we heard that you interpret dream, dreams. And so they went to Joseph. And Joseph looked at the baker and he goes, I'm sorry, but you're you're not going to live. The, your dream means that you're you're going to you're going to die. Your your sentence here is is going to be carried out and you are no longer gonna be living. But then he looks at the cupbearer and he goes, You are gonna go back to the Pharaoh and you are gonna find good grace with him and you're gonna go back into service. And sure enough, a few days later, both of those dreams had happened. Um, the baker um, was sentenced to death and the cupbearer got to go back and work into the palace. And when he was leaving, Joseph looked at the cupbearer and said, please remember me when you're there. He was tired of being in jail. Well, many, many years had passed by, the cupbearer was working, and in all honesty, he kind of forgot about Joseph. 
been several years, kind of forgot, and was just, you know, it wasn't there until one night the king had a dream about seven cows and seven stalks of hay, of grain. Um, and and nobody could translate this dream and the king was like it means something I know it doesn't I don't know what it means and so until the cup bearer finally remembered Joseph and went oh, Pharaoh if I may be so bold as to say there's a man in prison who interprets dreams he interpreted mine that said I would come back into your service and so the Pharaoh sent for Joseph and said, hey, I want you to explain this dream to me. And Joseph said, oh, great Pharaoh, the, what this means is you have seven healthy cows and seven sickly cows. And what it means is that you are going to experience, a thing. you're going to have seven great years of wonderful crops, of wonderful grain. Everything is going to be good for seven years. And then after those seven years, you're going to have seven bad years where there's going to be a famine. There's going to be, um, there's going to not be any crops. All the cattle are going to slowly die off. And he said, and if I were you, O king or O pharaoh, we need to we need to prepare and we need to take those seven years that are good and we need to make sure that we have everything in the storehouses and pharaoh was so so amazed that joseph knew what this dream was that he put him in charge and sure enough seven years of amazing amazing good crops happened and then all of a sudden seven bad years but because that because of God's power in Joseph and Joseph knew that God had a plan and kept believing he was able to interpret the dream and he was able to save enough food to get them through this famine and it was so amazing wow so God has a plan for me even when life is crazy even when it looks like I'm in jail and I'm never gonna get out God still has a plan for me and that is so so amazing so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dive into our craft I'm sure you guys saw me I was cutting up my little my little stocks of green then so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue them in to our picture ready here we go Great, great job working on that craft. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are totally rocking it on these crafts. Now, as we wrap up for today, we want to be reminded that God always has a plan for us. And Joseph, even in the midst of all of the sadness, of all of the, the frustration, being thrown into slavery, being thrown into jail, he kept remembering that God loves him very much and that God has a plan. And we want to know that God has a plan for us. Yes. 
COVID has made things look really, really weird, really, really different, but God has a plan for us. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for me, and he loves us so, so, so much. I love you guys, and I will see you all again next week.